Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So these days, the soundtrack from K-pop Demon Hunter Golden is on the rise with popularity. And since I'm a mathematician, I'll be introducing two most interesting and entertaining integrals using Golden Ratio 5, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from ln of Golden Ratio 5 minus ln of 5 to the power of 5 to ln of 5 squared plus 2 times ln of 5 to the power of 5. Then we have dx over lambda w function. Okay, so let me just think about this form. So say lambda w x times e to the power of lambda w of x. This is just equal to x. And then we can just think about lambda w x, this w x. And this is going to be the principal branch of lambda w function. Okay, then from this, let's get derivative on the left and right hand side, right? So let me just put w, right? So w prime, and then that times e to the power of w. It looks like we have a parenthesis, 1 plus lambda w. This is only going to be just a 1. And then we can also say w prime, that times x over w, and then that times parenthesis 1 plus w. This has to be just equal to 1. So that we can say x times w prime is equal to w over 1 plus w, right? So what we have right now from this is the same as x times w prime. This is just the same as w over 1 plus w. Now we need to talk about derivative of x over wx, right? So that is d over dx, okay, and then of x over wx. It is just going to be w minus xw. Okay, then that over w squared. And if you work this out, it is just the same as w uh, minus 1 over 1 plus w, that over w squared. Okay. And then working this out, it's looking like 1 plus w minus 1, that over w, parenthesis 1 plus w. So it looks like we can cancel this ones out, right? And then after canceling this out, what we should have is only going to be then also canceling this W out too. It is only going to be 1 over 1 plus W. Okay, then I'll be calling this integral as just the I, right? Then this integral I is just going to be the same as X over wx from the lower bound of ln phi minus ln of phi to the power of phi to the upper bound is ln of phi square and then that plus 2 times ln of phi to the power of phi so like i said phi is the golden ratio right and at the same time we already know Golden ratio phi squared. This is the same as phi plus 1. Then we need to think about the other root, which is the psi. So we're in the form of, say, x squared is x plus 1. And the other root, which is the psi. This is just the same as 1 minus golden ratio phi, which has to be the same as negative 1 over so using this, let's talk about the lower bound and the upper bound, right? Starting with the upper bound. So starting with the upper bound, it is now ln of phi squared plus 2 times ln of phi to the power of phi. 
Okay, then this is just the same as ln of, just a low property, right? So if you're using this, it should be the same as ln of phi squared to the power of phi plus one. And then this looks like uh, taking this phi plus one out. And that times ln of phi squared, which is going to be just the same as then phi squared times ln of phi squared. And then we already know the Lambert W of x times ln x. It is just equal to ln x. Okay, so that is why from this Lambert W of, now we have ln of phi squared plus 2 times ln of phi to the power of phi. Okay, this is then going to be just the same as W of phi squared times ln of phi squared. This is only going to be the same as ln of phi squared then. So that is why for x is equal to ln of phi squared plus 2 times ln of phi to the power of phi, right? Then for x over wx. This is just going to be the same as phi squared times ln of phi squared, that over just ln of phi squared. Looks like we can cancel this out to have just phi squared, golden ratio squared. This is going to be our upper bound, right? Now let's talk about the lower bound, right? Okay, the lower bound was ln phi minus ln phi to the power of phi. Okay, then this is just going to be the same as then um, ln of phi to the power of negative parenthesis phi minus 1. And then we'll be using the other root side, right? Using that, then we need to work on ln of phi to the power of just a psi. Then this is going to be the same as the ln of 1 over phi to the power of negative psi. Okay, then this is represented as the ln of negative psi to the power of negative psi. Then this is the same as, let me make a parenthesis, negative psi times ln of negative psi. And then if you work this out, right? If you work this out, then this is going to be just the same as. So the whole thing is the same as negative psi. The times ln of negative psi. Okay, that over w of negative psi times ln of negative psi. Okay, that looks like your denominator. Looks like your denominator is ln of negative psi, right? So since the denominator is negative, ln of negative psi. So it looks like we can cancel these out to have only negative of the psi. This has to be your lower bound, right? Okay, then using this, your integral i. So integral i is just going to be the same as then uh, phi square minus minus psi. This is the same as phi square plus psi. And this is also going to be the same as golden ratio phi plus one. 
and then plus parenthesis 1 minus golden ratio phi. Looks like your golden ratio phi is canceled out, right? And then what we have is 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. So the answer for this question is 2. Okay, so pretty interesting integral using golden ratio on the lower bound and the upper bound. How amazing. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from 0 to golden ratio phi cubed minus 1 of real part of 1 over 1 plus e to the power of r tangent of ln of cosine of x over e to the power of i dx. So let me just use Euler's formula, right? That is e to the power of i x. This is the same as cosine x plus i sine x. Okay, then let me take a look at this integrand part, right? So 1 over 1 plus e to the power of r tangent of ln cosine x over e, entire thing to the power of i, right? So eventually your integrand has to be in the form of 1 over 1 plus e to the power of i x, right? And if you multiply 1 plus e to the power of negative i x to the numerator and denominator, something good will happen. So let me just multiply this, right? So let me multiply 1 uh, plus e to the power of negative i x to the numerator and denominator. If you go ahead and multiply this, okay, then it looks like we have 1 plus e to the power of negative i x. Okay, then that over just 1 plus e to the power of i x times 1 plus e to the power of negative i x. Okay, so let me expand these parentheses on your denominator. Then we should have 1 plus e to the power of negative i x. Okay, then that over 1 plus e to the power of negative i x plus e to the power of i x and also plus 1. Because e to the power of i x times e to the power of negative i x, this is e to the power of 0, so that is equal to 1. So that is why what we have right now is 1 plus e to the power of negative i x over 2 plus e to the power of negative i x plus e to the power of i x. Okay, so this is what we have. The next step would be thinking about complex form of cosine of x, right? So the complex... form of cosine x. So cosine x is just the same as e to the power of i x. e to the power of i x plus e to the power of negative i x, that over 2. We'll be using this. Okay, so using this, we can rewrite this fraction, right? So this fraction using this would be then, okay, 1 plus cosine x minus i times sine x. Okay, then that divided by 2 plus 2 times cosine x. Okay, this is what we have. So that is why if you're taking a look at this, right? So looking at this expression, the real part of 1 over 1 plus e to the power of i x, it is only going to be 1 over 2. Okay, then let me just call this integral as the i, right? And then talk about your integral i. So integral i is simply then going to be the same as uh, 1 over 2, that times upper bound, phi cubed minus 1. And then if you work this out, 
And factor this part, it is the same as 1 over 2 times golden ratio 5 minus 1 times 5 squared plus 5 plus 1. About the second parenthesis, 5 squared plus 5 plus 1. This is just the same as 2 times 5 plus 2, which is 2 parentheses 5 plus 1. Okay, then what we are working on has to be 1 over 2 times 5 minus 1. The times 2 times 5 plus 1. And then we can cancel this 1 over 2 and 2 out, right? So what we have is now 5 minus 1 times 5 plus 1. It is the same as 5 squared minus 1. And then we already know 5 squared minus 5 minus 1 is equal to 0. So that is why 5 minus 1 is only going to be just the 5, the golden ratio. So the answer for this question is just the golden ratio of 5, right? Okay, so pretty interesting in tech world that the result turns out to be the golden ratio of 5. How amazing.